bear in mind we have quite a quite a large small to medium business owner enterprise is that you don't have that hands-on coding skills in quote marks to make it work which i'd imagine a lot of the audience don't either um so talk us through that how has that evolved over recent years because i know there's a lot of tools out there now that, that are no code how powerful can you get and how easy are they to use you can get incredibly powerful you wouldn't believe how many websites are built like i'm talking multi-million dollar businesses on simple platforms like shopify pretty much drag and drop uh, and then you know wordpress as well with elementor pro the fact that I am, you know, not as technically skilled, I would say, and I was kind of wearing a bunch of different hats. I always thought of that as a detriment to my success because I couldn't focus on one single thing. But I think that's what it was, what it was leading me to, to where I am right now, where I can relate to the potential client and explain it to them in a language they can actually understand. Because, you know, a lot of very technical guys, they either get annoyed if you don't get something or they're very, a little bit stringent in terms of their way of communication and things like that. Uh, whereas I like to kind of, you know, put the ball down and explain everything nicely so people understand what they're getting themselves into. And um, when it comes to being powerful with not a lot of technical skill, you can get a very, very powerful. Like with AI, uh, stuff's changing rapidly. With stuff like Elementor Pro and WordPress, uh, things are changing rapidly. All you need is that little bit of uh, sense for design and how things should work and knowing the backends and how to connect them. And, uh, and then I think you can be very successful. I like that. I like that. 